What's poppin' mother truckers? I'm the coming attraction and we back at it like a crack addict with another 2k video If you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the like button and turn on post notifications We have pretty much daily uploads on this channel and leave a comment down below on what other types of videos you want to see But as always ladies and gentlemen go chase your freaking dreams today and let's get into the video all right, boys and girls, we're going to take LeBron and see what it would be like if he played in the 90s. So as you guys can see here, I got the complete 95-96 roster. All the legends are in this. Utah Jazz with John Stockton and Carl Malone, who at this time was touching 13-year-old girls. The New York Knicks and Patrick Ewing. Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal on the Orlando Magic. Penny would have been so good if it wasn't for injuries. Hakeem Olajuwon in the Rockets. We even got a player model of Charles Barkley in here. Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, who obviously were on the Seattle Super Sonics, but we have to use the Thunder in 2K22. We even got Reggie Miller. Now, obviously doing this, we want to see the best version of LeBron. So we're going to use his prime edition. He's a 99 overall with 66 badges. This means we're going to be able to see a prime Michael Jordan versus a prime LeBron. Hopefully. Also, Scottie Pippen always talking about how he can lock LeBron up. We gonna see today, young fella. Dennis Rodman, too. This whole Bulls team was so stacked. The rest of LeBron's team is okay. He has a 90 overall Mark Price, who I guess my dad tells me back in the day was pretty good. I have my doubts, though, but they also have Harold Miner, who at one point was supposed to be the next Michael Jordan. Let me know down in the comments, though, who you guys think is gonna win the championship and what you think LeBron's stat line is gonna be. I'm gonna say 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists. So I went through and checked, and LeBron and the Cavs play the Bulls for times. I really want to see how LeBron plays against MJ and the Bulls, so we're going to simulate to these games and then check out the stats. Okay, so the Cavs lost 90-95. to 95. Michael Jordan had 23.7 rebounds and 7 assists, also 3 steals. Shot a terrible percentage though, 10 for 25 from the field. Dude, this is the most Dennis Rodman stat line I've ever seen in my life. 8 points and 18 rebounds. Scottie Pippen only got 9 minutes for some reason, 6 points, 2 assists. Where you at, bud? LeBron though, absolutely showing out. 26 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, only 1 turnover. The Bulls won the game, but I think LeBron won the individual matchup. Let's go ahead and simulate to the January 19th meeting now. Once again, the Bulls win though, 112 to 94. Okay, yeah, this looks more like Michael Jordan. 36 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 15 for 27 from the field. He had 6 fouls though, so he fouled out. Dennis Rodman showing us what Draymond Green thinks he is. 6 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists. Holy crap though. LeBron James had 40.7 rebounds and 6 assists, shooting over 50% from the field and 50% from 3. And he didn't foul out. Dude, LeBron is up 2-0 to zero in terms of individual matchups. I know the Bulls are winning, but still. All right, we're going to simulate to the All-Star break now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So for the Eastern Conference, LeBron James is the captain of the All-Star team and not Michael Jordan. Hmm, this is quite interesting. Michael Jordan goes to Team Carl Malone in the All-Star game, though, so we won't get to see MJ and LeBron actually team up. Kevin Johnson. If you guys know basketball, you know he's literally one of the greatest point guards of all time. So here we are at the All-Star break, though, and Michael Jordan is leading the league in points per game at 32 points. Right behind him is Grant Hill and Carl Malone, and then LeBron comes in at 28 points per game. Tim Hardaway at fifth, that killer crossover, baby. Hakeem the Dream Elijuan leading the league in rebounds. 28.16 rebounds for him, dude. Very fittingly, the glove, Gary Payton, leading the league in steals at three. Three-point contest is Allen Houston, Glenn Rice, Dennis Scott, David Wesley, Steve Smith, and Jeff Ruland. Three-point shot was not as big back in the mid-90s as it is nowadays, so it's going to be interesting to see who actually wins this. And Glenn Rice ends up winning it, probably pretty accurate to what would actually happen. Spud Webb's in the dunk contest. Might as well check this out. Spud Webb playing for the Sacramento Kings at this time. His player model looks pretty good. Oh my god! And this was pretty crazy, man. It looks so funny seeing his little character model go up in the air like that. And Spud Webb actually ends up winning the dunk contest too. All right, let's go to this third matchup now between Michael Jordan and LeBron. For the third time this season, the Bulls win. Scottie Pippen actually led the Bulls in scoring this game, 32 points. Michael Jordan closed behind him though with 26 points, seven rebounds, five assists. Finally shot over 50% from the field. I will comment on this every time. This cracks me up. Dennis Rodman, zero points, 10 rebounds, five assists. That's so awesome. And LeBron didn't have the greatest scoring game, only 13 points, but he also had 11 rebounds rebounds and 13 assists two blocks off game shooting as he only went four for 14 but he killed it again but lebron actually loses this one jordan wins this matchup closer game this time but the bulls sweep the regular season lebron went for 32.7 rebounds seven assists 50 percent from the field 17 for 25 from the free throw line they just couldn't stop him from getting to the basket scotty pippen shutting me up man 30 points five rebounds seven assists michael jordan 19 points three rebounds eight assists in terms of individual play i think lebron won the regular season matchup three to one we're at the end of the regular season and expectedly so michael jordan wins mvp 31 points five rebounds six assists 2.4 steals that's incredible 56 percent from the field and 40 percent from the three-point line you can't hate on him john williams wins sixth man of the year whoever that is defensive player of the year goes to dikembe mutombo 
That's awesome, man. 15 rebounds a game, 3.5 blocks. All NBA first team, Michael Jordan, Tim Hardaway, Karl Malone, Grant Hill, Akeem Olajuwon. No LeBron on the NBA first team. That's interesting. He did make the All NBA second team, though, as well as Jason Kidd, Joe Dumars, and you got Charles Barkley and Patrick Ewing. All defensive first team, you got Gary Payton and Michael Jordan, obviously. Charles Barkley. LeBron makes all defensive first team as well. Then Dikembe Mutombo. LeBron ended up averaging almost a 30-point triple-double. 30 points per game, 9.8 rebounds, 9 assists shooting 53% from the field, man. The myth of him not being able to play in the 90s NBA with the physicality is completely dead. Jordan led the league in scoring though at 31.6. Grant Hill close behind at 31.2. And then LeBron right there at number three, 30.2. Akeem Olajuwon ended up leading the league in rebounds at almost 17 a game. Dennis Rodman though, look at him, 15 a game. Assist per game, still Tim Hardaway. Then Kevin Johnson right behind Mark Jackson. Steals, still the glove. Blocks, obviously, to Kimbe Mutombo at 3.5. Hey, David Robinson though, 3.4. If you guys haven't go look up my mood abdul raouf once again real hoop heads know that this dude was steph curry before steph curry it's cool going through here and just seeing some of the legends reggie miller averaged 27 points per game five assists he averaged making almost six three-pointers a game on 46 percent shooting from the three-point line that's incredible and grant hill's another one of those players that if it wasn't for injuries he was going to be one of the greatest players of all time 31 points a game nine rebounds eight assists a young shaquille o'neal averaged 20 points a game and 12 rebounds here's a look at the playoff picture though you got the cleveland cavaliers making the playoffs is the three seed they'll be taking on Shaq and the magic surprisingly the 95 96 bulls are the two seed they'll be taking on the pistons back when the new york knicks were actually good they have the one seed in the western conference you got charles barkley and the suns with the one seed let's go ahead here and simulate this first round and see exactly what happens and oh my god the cleveland cavaliers have been eliminated LeBron got swept by the sixth seed. And this doesn't make my case for LeBron being able to play in this era strong at all. If it matters, he did have 27 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists on 50% from the field in the closeout game. In the series, he averaged 23 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, which is down from his regular season stats. Rough day at the park, man. But we got Charles Barkley and Phoenix taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Then we got David Robinson and the Spurs taking on the Seattle Supersonics with Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. Then we got Patrick Ewing and the New York Knicks taking on Alonzo Mourning in the Miami Heat. And Penny Hardaway and Shaq taking on Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Let's go ahead and simulate this round now. And whoo, the Bulls narrowly escape. They get through in six games right there. They're going to be taking on the New York Knicks who easily handle the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Phoenix gets swept by Portland. Rod Strickland of the Trailblazers going crazy, man. 20 points, nine assists. Charles Barkley did all he could, man. 26 points, 13 rebounds. Just wasn't enough. So the final four, we got Chicago taking on New New York and Portland taking on San Antonio. Let's simulate the conference finals and see what happens. And oh my goodness, the New York Knicks beat the Chicago Bulls. It was in seven games, but it doesn't matter, man. Patrick Ewing went stupid. 36 points on 16 for 20 shooting. It wasn't for lack of trying, though. Michael Jordan had 44 points, three rebounds, four assists on 16 for 25 from the field in game seven. He did all he could. So the 95-96 Bulls, who were supposed to be the greatest team of all time, didn't even make it to the finals in this simulation. We got the Knicks and Spurs. Let's go ahead and simulate it um, game by game here. See exactly what happens. Knicks win that one. Knicks win that one too. Knicks win three. Are the Knicks going to sweep it and actually win a championship? Holy crap, the New York Knicks won a freaking finals. And Patrick Ewing wins finals MVP. Super dominant. 30 points per game, 12 rebounds, 56% from the field. He deserves it in video game land, man. Michael Jordan put him through hell in real life. So I guess to wrap up a little bit what happened here, LeBron had 30 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, almost a 30-point triple-double in the regular season. Michael Jordan won MVP with a dominant season. And Patrick Ewing and the New York Knicks finally get their long-awaited and coveted champion. It was pretty interesting to see what LeBron would be like if he played in the mid 90s. But that's all I got for this video though, guys. If you did enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below on what other videos you guys want to see. Turn on post notifications. I just want to say go chase your dreams today. Who cares what other people think about you, man? You got one life, live it to the fullest. Go chase your dreams. I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm the coming attraction.